sometimes it seems like everything is urgent. Everything is an emergency. Everything needs you to weigh in on it right now or risk missing out on something groundbreakingly important to your future. If you go through your list of recommended YouTube videos, you'll probably see a lot of clickbait in there. Things telling you, here's the ultimate secret that you didn't know about whatever the topic at hand is. Things telling you that there's some groundbreaking news that's just out, and if you don't click on this video, you're going to miss out on knowing something absolutely shocking and crazy. Things telling you that you have to subscribe to some particular political view, some particular religious belief. Things telling you passionately that you should do some particular thing because that's the one aspect of routine that will transform your well-being or your mental health. There's so many people and they're always telling you that you got to jump on board with something. They're telling you that if you don't sign up for this service, you're going to miss out. The insurance person is telling you that if you don't sign up for this insurance, then you're going to be putting yourself in terrible risk. If you don't sign up for all of these streaming services, you're going to be missing out on having the joy of being entertained and just goes on and on. Everyone wants your attention. Everyone wants you to take their side and jump onto whatever it is that they're into and make that mission of theirs your mission too. And they don't want you to take time to step back and weigh it all in the balance. They want you to just get on board. And life is filled with this stuff and we just have to get away from it. We gotta calm down and take a step back and say, you know what, maybe what you have to say is worth considering, but I don't have to jump at it today. I can wait a little bit. I can take some time. I can say I'm going to not in I'm not going to consume any social media today. I'm not going to live my life on a basis of what other people want me to click on and subscribe to and think about and agree with. I don't have to have a position on everything. I can wait until tomorrow to make a decision. I don't have to do that thing today you know sometimes you just gotta calm down and stop stop with all the all the clickbait in life just understand that life is pretty good and it's okay to take some time to think things over it's okay to not be involved in everything it's okay to not be 100% on all the things that want your attention. I think people don't like the idea of, of folks being comfortable with their lives. Maybe that's the heart of it. Because if you're happy with your life, if you're not afraid, then... How are you really going to be sold something? How are you going to really be manipulated or controlled or sold into some kind of slavery to somebody else's agenda if you're not afraid? If you're not afraid of missing out, if you're not believing that you have to jump on some bandwagon right now, if you're not worried about what's going to happen with your life, what's going to happen with your future, what's going to happen in the world if you're just not super concerned about these things then people don't really have leverage people can't really control you and that's something people don't like because most people want to be in control by controlling other people controlling other people's minds manipulating their thoughts and when you turn it off, 
when you step back and you just stop consuming all that stuff, then you realize it's all pretty silly. You don't have to sign up for every streaming service to be entertained. You don't have to be super involved in all the political arguments of the time. You don't have to be extremely worried about your future in order to be a good steward of your life. You can just make reasonable decisions and live your life in a way that brings joy to you. You can be pretty calm. You can take things into consideration without being obsessed with them. Life doesn't have to be something that's always making us feel like we're in a state of emergency. You know, I think that there's something to be said for the fact that when there really is an emergency that's truly an immediate thing that requires our attention, we know it. If your house is on fire, then you know you need to do something about that right now. Nobody has to tell you. You just know. You go jump into action. And life does sometimes pose real threats. There sometimes are things we really need to do something about. We need to do about something about those things right now because it's necessary. But that's not most of the time. That's not most things. Most things are just everyday noise. And in order to get us engaged, others will try to convince us that it's a fire that has to be put out right now. And then we can wind up in a state of always trying to be paying attention to something. Always thinking that we're in a state of emergency, that everything is a state of emergency. And we can lose our peace along the way. Because now you've got to the point where you think that you need to care about what flavor of laundry detergent you're buying because you heard some news advertisement telling you that you need to get Tide Pods or something because they're going to be life-changing in your laundry routine. You know, like Everything is turning out to be some kind of a huge deal that needs to get your attention. You don't really have to care about all this stuff, you know? It's amazing how simple life can get when you just turn off some of the noise opt into it if you want to but don't get yourself all tied up in knots just because everybody wants your attention you don't have to give everybody your attention most people have some kind of valid points things that are worth heeding or hearing or considering but most people are also kind of self-absorbed and self-deceived and they have their own agendas which have nothing to do with you so you gotta learn to have that balance live your life for your own benefit don't feel like you have to jump on every bandwagon click every clickbait have a position on everything it's okay to be reasonably neutral in life. Most of the things people tell you that you need to pay attention to, you could just ignore them entirely, and your life is going to be just fine. It's like today. There's a thing in the news that a train fell off a bridge, a bridge fell, and there's a train in the Yellowstone River and everybody's freaking out about it and that's the big news thing for today. Sure, that's that's significant. I get that. But it's not something I need to do anything about personally right now. So how much time do I need to spend reading those news feeds about crazy stuff that's happened somewhere in Europe or 
something that's beyond my control. Just what? So I can be entertained by the latest thing? I really don't need to. And it's easy to just feel like you have to be involved in everything. You gotta have a position on everything. You gotta you gotta keep on scrolling. You gotta keep on clicking. You gotta keep on finding the next thing you're gonna be involved in. You gotta keep on checking your phone again. It's just it's so exhausting. And I, I think that at the core of this, a big part of it is we aren't comfortable with silence in our life. We're not comfortable with just being calm and doing something for our own true benefit. We want to always have something sensationalist that we can drag ourselves into. Because it's easier to be scrolling through sensationalist news and political stuff on Twitter than it is to just have a quiet day by yourself and actually meditate on the part of your life you really are in control. Truth is, most of us don't really want peace in our life. We want the noise. We want the disturbance. We structure our lives in a way that never allows us to disconnect from all of those things, all that noise. Because as long as we're consuming somebody else's narratives, we don't really have to face the reality of our lives. We don't really have to make up our own minds about anything. And it's interesting that sometimes the root cause of, of us being not at peace is not other people taking our peace. It's that we haven't gotten to the point in life where we actually want peace. We're addicted to conflict. We're addicted to things that are wrong that we want to weigh in on. We're, we're always looking for that next thing that's going to claim our attention and be you know critical because i guess it's just easier you know there's this super quiet room in a university somewhere <laughs> they say that if people go in that room they will go crazy because it's so quiet in there there's no outside noise. There's no sound coming in. So all you can hear is the sound of your own heartbeat, your own bodily organs working, and it just drives you crazy. And I think that's maybe kind of how we are in life. The thought of silence drives us crazy because if we are quiet and we're not consuming something all the time, somebody else's voice, someone else's message, then that means that we have to hear ourselves. And that's something we're not prepared to do. It's easy to rage against some politician or be entertained by some commercial that's telling us about how some new thing is going to make our lives better or whatever it is. It's easy to keep on consuming that external stuff. It's a lot harder to spend time just alone with yourself, being aware of where you stand on issues, being true to yourself, knowing what your goals are, knowing what your thoughts are. That's why people tend to be so interested in what their religious or political leaders have to say, because if you didn't have anyone there to tell you about some religious beliefs you should have or something, then what would you believe? You'd have to figure it out yourself, right? You'd have to think about things and say, what do I believe? You see, people are not capable many times of thinking through what they believe if they don't have somebody there to tell them what to believe. And so people look for this. They look for it in corporations, in nations, in political things in so many different places. And I guess all of those things do have some degree of value. But they, sh are, they should be tools we use 
to help us find our way. Not alternatives to having a journey of our own. So sometimes it's important to just step, take a step back and understand that it's okay to have silence. It's okay to be neutral. And sometimes that's the best thing you can possibly do. To focus on just you. And let all those other things that are filling up your news feed take a back seat. You don't need to click on them now. You maybe don't need to click on them at all. That's food for thought. Till next time. Thank you for watching.